Hello, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to print labels and certificates for your solo and ensemble event. So let's go to members area and log in. I'm already logged in. We'll go down to the bottom of the screen under admin permissions. Click here to maintain your music events. And here is the name of your event. So let's do the labels first. So we're going to scroll over to the third tab marked reports, and you will find labels here. And when you click on labels, it's going to take you to this screen. Um, we only have four events at our site. Um, otherwise, the entire screen would be populated. Um, these are Avery 2x4 labels, and it is product number 8163. You can certainly use a different brand of labels as long as they are 2x4 two across, and five down. So if you see here at the top of the label is this P number, and that's going to be important to us in our next step, which is printing certificates. You'll want to do some experimenting with your particular printer as far as the orientation for your labels. So to print certificates, we're going all the way to the right-hand side of the page under Score. So you see here the P number or performance name. So that's where um, the P number that's on the top of your label, that's how you are going to get the current uh, performer on the screen to be ready to print a certificate. So I'm going to type in the entire seven digit number. You don't need the P before that. Um, unfortunately, we don't have yet the ability to be able to just type in a few digits and it go directly to that. So you're going to have to type all seven digits. So we'll search. And here is the name of our performer, Parker Moore. Down here at the bottom is where you would use the scroll to give a rating. So Parker is going to receive a one. If you notice, if she receives a three and I click update. You no longer have the ability to print a certificate. Because certificates are only awarded for ones and twos. So we'll do one and update. And now you see a tab marked certificate. And it would take you to this screen right here. And we're simply going to hit print. For my printer, the certificates are face down and the top of the certificate is to the right side. And I don't have certificate stock in. But this is how it comes out like that. Um, you may have cases that the performer name is longer than the width of the certificate. Nick Turan, our OMEA Director of Technology, is going to send out a Microsoft Word template for you to use in those cases. Um, just one other important thing, and this is a change from previous years, you're not going to have the ability to be able to pre-print certificates. Um, I know some sites printed all the certificates and they wrote in a rating. You're not going to have the ability to be able to do that this year. That may or may not be possible for future years, but uh, it unfortunately is not this year. So if you have any questions, please feel free to contact either myself or Nick and we will do our best to answer your questions. Thank you very much.